Welcome to my lair of seduction, AKA my bedroom. What's going on, gentlemen? Today, a special video for you. I am sick and tired of hearing from all those spicy city readers being like, yo, Alpha, tell the gentleman to elevate and upgrade the quality of their bedroom because they're tired of you being all super sexy and smooth, looking amazing, but when they come back to your place, they're like, yo, he lives like a little boy. Today, gentlemen, I'm going over a few things that men have in their bedroom that little boys don't. Number one is clean. A man's room is a clean room. It's organized. It doesn't have a bunch of chaos and clutter everywhere. Now, when you're a young dude, right, you're still living at home, everything that you own is in the one room. And so it tends to get a little bit chaotic and cluttered. You got shit stuffed everywhere. But as you evolve, as you move out of the house, now you've got a lot more room to spread out. Your bedroom is one of those areas that you gotta make sure that you don't have a lot of crap everywhere. You can't have a bunch of chaos and clutter everywhere or else you're going to automatically look like you are a slob, you're lazy, and that you're definitely not a man that she's going to want to kick it with. Which brings me to the second thing that men have that boys don't, and that is a room that smells fresh and clean as opposed to nasty. One pro tip I'd like to give you is candles, right? Having a candle or two around the room, even if it's not lit, is a great way to add a nice pleasant aroma. And it's also a great way to set the mood, set the ambiance, so that when you have somebody come over, you light it, and it's a lot more chill, it's a lot sexier, and the smell is amazing. Do not use Febreze or air freshener as the solution, because then it's just funk masked with air freshener Febreze, all right? Also, the plug-in little like Glade air fresheners, in my opinion, smell very like synthetic. Now, it's better than it smelling like your ass, but it's not as good as a nice, fresh, relaxing candle. Number three is a proper bed frame. All right, nothing screams. I'm a little boy like when you got a mattress on the floor. Gentlemen, no spicy senorita wants to come over and chill on your mattress on the floor. Get it up, get it off the ground. It's gonna make you look more responsible, respectable, and your bedroom a lot better. I'll show you a few examples of some masculine bed frames that I personally think are badass, right? Here's one that I love. It's got these cool like metal rivets. It's also got this great like tan and cream herringbone design, right? Not too big, not too over the top. Here's another great example of a masculine bed frame, all right? It's a gray fabric. It's kind of like a charcoal gray. Notice the headboard isn't super big, super gigantic, but it's clean, the lines are manly. Having a bed elevated is actually going to add more depth and dimension to your bedroom and make it look a lot more interesting. All right, something else that's gonna help with that is the bedding, which is the next thing that men have that boys don't. One of the quickest and easiest things that you can do to automatically elevate and upgrade the aesthetic of your room and make it more manly is actually having nicer sheets and bedding, all right? This includes possibly some bedding with accent pillows. Think of accent pillows as kind of like the accessories to your bed, right? You know how I talk about wearing a badass watch, rings, right? Well, accent pillows and bedding is a great way to basically add a little flavor, a little flair to your room and let you express your individual style. In terms of bedding and sheets, guys, I am a big fan of white. I feel like white, it's clean, it matches with anything, and it's just a nice, like, blank canvas. But it's not just the comforter. You also gotta make sure that the sheets are high quality and soft and sexy. Which brings me to the next thing that men have that boys don't, and that is a proper mattress, all right? The mattress that you sleep on for eight, nine, 10 hours a night has gotta be high quality. There is a huge difference in not only the way that you feel, the way that you sleep, when you wake up, you're gonna be more refreshed. My wife and I rock the Helix Midnight Lux. The mattress is from the company Helix. They are today's video sponsor, and they are the best in the mattress business. So Helix Sleep makes premium bedding and mattresses, but the thing that separates Helix from the other companies is that the Helix mattress that's going to be sent and shipped directly to your door is going to be specifically picked out for you based on how you actually sleep. Because whether or not you're a back sleeper, a side sleeper, a stomach sleeper, that's going to depend on what type of mattress you actually want. For us, my wife and I took the sleep quiz, which I'm actually gonna link to down below. If you go through that link, helixsleep.com slash alpha, you can actually take the sleep quiz. When you're completing the quiz, it's gonna ask you a bunch of different questions in terms of your specific sleep preferences. Whether or not you're a back sleeper, you're a side sleeper, you're a front sleeper, whether or not you like a soft mattress, a firm mattress. Now, the other cool thing is that if you sleep next to somebody and you've got a partner, you can actually take it together. And then Helix is going to match you with your perfect mattress. Another cool thing is that when they actually ship your mattress, it's sent direct to your door with free shipping within the US. The mattress comes all rolled up and then all you do is take the box into your bedroom, place it on your bed, cut the plastic, 
unroll it like magic. In seconds, you are literally sleeping better, deeper, and more soundly. But Alpha, what if I get the mattress and I don't love it? Well, you will, because I know you're going to, because I do, but here's the cool thing. It's essentially risk-free, because they're gonna send it to you, right? Free shipping within the US, but they're gonna allow you to sleep on it for literally 100 nights to decide whether or not you love it, or if you don't, you can send it back and get your money back. It's literally like risk-free. Guys, I'm telling you, you're gonna notice a huge difference when you actually upgrade and elevate the quality of the mattress you're sleeping on, and sleeping on one that is actually built for the way that you sleep. Not me, not your boy, not your girl, you. It's amazing, the difference. Guys, hit that special link down below, take the sleep quiz. It's helixsleep.com slash alpha. You go through that special link, guys, you're gonna get up to $200 off your Helix mattress. You're also gonna get two free pillows just tossed in because you're awesome and you hit that special link. Now, something else you got to understand. Helix has a 10-year warranty. They also have payment plans available and flexible financing. Guys, it's a huge no-brainer. You're going to notice a huge difference when you elevate and upgrade your mattress. You're going to sleep deeper, more soundly. You're going to wake up more refreshed and sexy, sexy time on a better mattress. Gentlemen, get lost. Game over. You are the man. So the next thing that separates boys from men in terms of their rooms is actually what you have hanging on the walls, right? A few things that men could potentially have is some type of cool full-length mirror, right? Or some type of art. And the cool thing, guys, is that you can find a lot of really great things that you may love to hang on your walls that aren't super expensive. This thing right here, the Coco Chanel like Campbell soup can, fashion soup, it cost me like $30, but it's cool and it was just something different that makes this room feel super awesome. The next thing that separates the boys from men in terms of bedrooms is some type of proper chair, right? A sitting area, whether or not it's something like this with an ottoman or something like this, right? It's just a great idea, in my opinion, to have somewhere where you can sit, you can work, that's not your bed. One of the big mistakes that a lot of guys make, young guys specifically, is that they do everything in their bed. They sit there with their computer, they work, they watch YouTube videos, they watch TV, they get sexy, they get freaky. In my opinion, laying in bed is only for two things getting sexy and freaky and sleeping right other than that you need a place to sit to work to watch tv or to sit and put your shoes on or your socks or just to relax right light a candle put on some music and just like meditate i'm telling you gentlemen a chair is a great way to add depth interest and manliness to your room speaking of manly gentlemen plants all right so here's the deal personally i feel like every single one of you should have a plant if you have windows in your bedroom and there are a few reasons for that number one it's lush it's green it brings life to your room plants also show that you're a sensitive dude right the other cool thing with plants honestly this sounds weird and if you don't have any you don't understand it but it's almost like you've got a friend um it's really relaxing also to go to a place that has or sells plants and just walk through and find something that's cool now if you're like yo i'm not responsible i don't know how to water it another great option is something like this all right it's a succulent a succulent or a cactus essentially is like the dude proof option, right? It doesn't require a lot of light. It doesn't require a ton of watering or maintenance. They're easy, but it's going to bring a lot of depth, dimension, color, and just fresh, rich, like life to your bedroom. Next thing we got to talk about, gentlemen, is the lighting situation, right? Side table lamps, in my opinion, are what separate the boys from the men in terms of bedroom layers of seduction, all right? Instead of having the harsh lights on or the overhead lights, it's great to have the softness and the ambiance that is created by having the soft side table lamps. And the cool thing is that you can find some really interesting masculine lamps that aren't going to break the budget. The last thing we're going to talk about, gentlemen, that separates the boys from the men in terms of their bedroom is actually their closet. If your closet is clean, if it is organized, if there's a place for everything and everything in its place, good for you, you're a man. But if you've got a lot of chaos and clutter, things aren't organized, guys, you look literally like a little boy. That's it, gentlemen. Quick little manly bedroom tutorial. What about you? Is your bedroom equipped with all the essentials it needs for some spicy senorita to come over and be like, damn, Brian, your bedroom, so sexy. Can we get freaky? Or does it look like a little boy wives there? If the answer is it looks like a little boy wives there, gentlemen, your chance of action is zero. And guys, don't forget to hit that link down below to take the Helix Sleep quiz. It's helixsleep.com com slash alpha.